that are most exposed to currents, nutrients flow with great intensity, only to be intercepted by an endless number of minute tentacles and arms. Sea fans make up true forest colonies with one meter long branches, thus creating a highly specialized biotope in its environs. What seem like flowers are really coral polyps that live in community capturing microorganisms and particles in suspension. These seabeds are covered with embedded colonies of diverse species, some more widespread than others, which have reached similar feeding solutions. While sponges and sea squirts are periferous filters, anemone, anthozoa, and bryzoa actively capture their food. These encrusted yellow anemone of up to two centimeters in length are united by rigid bases that anchor them to the substrate. Most use the solid remains of their prey as a resource to build structures of varying hardness. They don't, however, reach the size of their warm water cousins. Coral communities in the Mediterranean are equally productive, undergoing vital bioconstruction tasks. The calcareous skeleton of the coveted Mediterranean red coral grows very slowly, from three to five millimeters a year, which makes its regeneration difficult. Up to the 20th century, great antizoan forests could still be found, which man has used to adorn himself for over 30,000 years. Nowadays, it's one of the most threatened species in the Mediterranean because of commercial exploitation, which was, up to relatively recently, carried out by highly destructive methods, not only for corals, but also for the rest of the species with which it cohabits. Many species of benthic fish look for protection within the crevices covered by millions of polyps, sponges, and encrusted algae. Red scorpion fish are strongly territorial. Between May and August, their reproductive behavior becomes obvious. Like the grouper, this voracious nocturnal predator spawns far from the seabed so that currents and thermoclines can transport its eggs and colonize other places while they become part of the plankton. Adult male octopuses also wander about in search of receptive females with which to leave their genetic inheritance. It's common for them to encounter other males with which they battle cruelly, sometimes severing a member or two.
females await the arrival of a male to fertilize their eggs, which will hang inside its lair, where she'll keep them as oxygenated, clean, and protected as her strength allows her. When they hatch and disperse, their mother will die of starvation and exhaustion. Then a century of crabs, shrimp, and other scavengers that she used to feed upon will in turn feed on her remains, thus closing the biological circle. waters, so rich in floating microorganisms, it's common to find many parasites on the skin of large and small fish. Like mores, many turn to the specialized help of fish and shrimp to get rid of bothersome guests and to keep clean. 